The purpose of this video is to show you how to monitor Examinee's progress on your administrative computer. If it seems an Examinee is not progressing, such as is on the same item number for a long time, check with the Examinee to make sure there are no computer problems. Now, this monitoring Examinees are part of this number six that you see. Regardless of the timing code, whether you're timing code uh, one, timing code two, three, five, six, or seven, you're going to do the same thing during the English test, math test, um, science test, and reading test. All right, so let's look at number six for the English test. So when the students take the English test, regardless of timing code, the first bullet, you're going to verify that all examinees were able to start the test. During the English test, you will complete your seating diagram. During the English test, you're going to move around the room to monitor for prohibited behavior. And during the English test, you're going to monitor examinee progress. You're going to do the same thing for the math test. So look at number five, and this is for math. During the math test, do the following, and this is going to be true for uh, each timing code. First bullet, verify that all examinees were able to start the test. So remember, they have to enter the seal code for the math test. Second bullet, move around the room to monitor for prohibited behavior. Third bullet, Refer to the ACT calculator policy and check that all calculators periodically throughout testing dismiss any examinees who uses a prohibited calculator. They will not be allowed to take any other test. And then here's the one again. We're going to you need to monitor examinee progress on your administrative computer. If it seems an examinee is not progressing, check with the examinee to make sure that there are no computer problems. All right, for the reading test, number four, during the reading test, do the following. Verify that all examinees were able to start the test. So again, that's that seal code. Move around the room to monitor for prohibited behavior. Monitor examinee progress on your administrative computer. If it seems an examinee is not progressing, Check with the examinee to make sure there are no computer problems. And then finally, for the science test, during the science test, do the following. Verify that all examinees were able to start the test, hence the seal code. Move around the room to monitor for prohibited behavior. Monitor examinees' progress on your administrative computer. If, there seems, if, an, if it seems an examinee is not progressing, um, is on the same item for a long time, for example, check with the examinee to make sure that there are no computer problems. Okay, so um, again, I'm going to show you where to go on your uh, administrative computer to monitor the examinee progress. Okay, so as you monitor for student for examinee progress, remember you're going to be on this page. Your students will be listed here. You will have given them their authorization ticket. They will have entered their username password, and then um, they will be ready to take, let's say, English. So you're going to give them the seal code. Then they're going to enter the seal code um, in the process. As you go through and you're monitoring <clears throat> examinee progress, you're going to constantly kick, uh, click on this refresh button. So make sure every time you go back to check to see how students are doing, you click on this refresh button. So just click on it and then things will be updated. OK, all right. So you can click it here or you can go down here and click the refresh button. All right, so keep that in mind as you go through monitoring uh, examinee progress on your administrative computer. So as was stated, so you're going to give all the examinees a seal code, let's say for English, and then they're going to go in and start taking the test. So 
after, let's say, and remember the English test is 45 minutes. So after about, let's say, 10 minutes, you go in and you check and see how students are doing. You walked around, you made, you made sure that the students entered the seal codes and they were working on the test on the computer. So after about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, let's go in and see how they are progressing. I just want to remind you of something before we go to that part. You see this right here. Just remind you about a previous discussion we had. Notice this is gray, right? So that means that the students have not logged into TestNav yet. That's what that means. So you see where it says student test status? If it's, uh, they're ready. It's been unlocked. So you unlock the test but they have not logged into TestNav and started any of the tests. Okay, so all of this is gray. All right, so so let's let's uh, go in and look to see how to monitor the progress when they're actually in TestNav working on a test. Okay, so now after let's say about 10 minutes, um, you want to see how they're doing. About uh, 10 to 15, let's say. So you're going to go to refresh. See right now, it's all gray, right? So if you go to refresh, let's click on refresh, look at what happens. So I'm going to go to refresh, it's still turning. Let's see. All right, so now you see it's active. You see this? Okay, so that means that means that all four students are actively taking the test that they're on right now. In this case, it's English. So let's look at the first student. So if I click, you see where it says the word active? So if I click on it, it's going to open it up. You'll see student test and item progress. So if I go, see that those two little arrows that are in a diagonal right here? If I click on it, it will expand it. And so now you can see for that one student what that student has done. So notice it has a session name, the test, the test status, so active 3%. So it's probably indicating that the student has completed 3% of the test. So there are 222 items remaining, meaning all four tests. Okay. All right. So, so um, notice uh, it, it indicates which items they've answered. Okay. So I want to show you something. You see the section one? Don't confuse section one with English with that first test. So these section numbers don't correspond to the test. This section right here, um, section three is the uh, where it says section one, sequence three, that's the examinee's agreement. So now when you go to section two, that's the English test. So in the English test, that web content, that was the instructions. So the student read the instructions, and then here's the first item of the test. The student skipped two and three for right now. The student answered four. The student answered five. OK, and then notice up here, see where it says um, uh, uh, right here, the student answered five items. Now, be careful. So so those five items are not necessarily items to uh, uh, to a test. They could be other items on the test they had to they had to look at. So, for example, one of them was in section one, sequence three was the examinees agreement. They had to answer that. OK. OK, so so notice there are three that's no response required. So that's the first two. So the first two was was um, um, like the uh, contact information. So apparently that's not required. So they skipped it. They they skipped it. That was not required. Um, according to this in in the. Um, in, in, in the. Um, the training module or the training platform. Um, so, so just, just, just be careful how you read this. And you could refresh. And obviously, the student probably didn't do anything else so far. But if you refresh, all right. And let's go to another student. So to go to the other student, you see that little X right here. I'm going to go ahead and X out. See right next, not right here. X out, and then let's let's look at the other student. So let's go to the second student listed. So I click on active, and then that is how, and I clicked on that that um, two arrows. So that's how you can see how they're progressing. There are the times listed. So notice it could be that that um, um, 
that this item right here, looking if, if that's the last item they're at, look and see the time. If they're taking too long at that item, check and see if they're having issues, uh, computer issues. Okay, um, so, so, and then notice the student completed 5% of all the items on the test that needs to be completed. So you X out, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that little X right here. So when I X out, I'm going to go to the third one. So when I go to the third one, let's see what happens. So I'm going to go to the arrows right here, click on it, and I can see how that student's progressing. So just scroll all the way, and you can see all the items. So remember, section two is math. I'm sorry, section two is English. There are 75 items in English, right? So look at those 75 items. Section three is um, math. So look, you go from one through 60. There are 60 items in math. And so there's the 60th item right here. And then see where it says web content? That's the instructions to the test, uh, to the math test, English test, whatever test they're on right now. Section four is the uh, reading test. There should be 35 items. Um, actually on this, I'm sorry, there's 40 items, excuse me. 40 items on the, um, on the, uh, reading test, and then the science test is the last one, there are 40 items as well. 35 minutes, 40 items for each, okay? So that's what that is. Um, so so if you need to X out, go to the next one. You can go here to the little X uh, right here, click on it, it'll bring you to the other one. And then if you go to the other one, the last one, um, you do the same thing. So use those arrows up here, the diagonals, and then you could see which which items the student answered. But again, remember the um, the English test is section is section two, and those numbers are the item numbers of the English test. The uh, math test is section three, and there are the sixty items on section three. The reading test is section four. There are forty items. For a standard time test, is 35 minutes. And then section five is the uh, science test, which is also 40 items. And again, for a standard time test, that is 35 minutes as well. All right, and so that's how, that's how you, can, you can determine how students, students are doing. And then you just periodically throughout the test, throughout the test, you look to see how they're progressing using this idea. So I'm going to go ahead and X out. And then again, so remember active means the student has is actively starting that test that they're on. OK. So when you come back to a student, let's say uh, 30 minutes in the test and let's say it's that first one right here. If you click on that, that student and you look at the item, make sure make sure you do refresh to see um, uh, to, because it may end up being where you last saw that student. So if you refresh, so let's say it went through 16. Um, so if I refresh, let's see what happens. All right, so it's so apparently this is the same one we looked at a while ago. Um, but anyway, so just keep refreshing those so we'll update the information. All right, so for each one. So if you go to another one, let's say this one. Um, just go ahead and refresh to see if if they've added any more items, if, if they uh, answered any more items. So just make sure you just keep refreshing. So it'll keep updating the information. And then the other one, you can refresh here, let's say. Um, or you can refresh right here for everybody. So refresh everybody, and then you can click on each one individually, okay? All right, so after time has expired on the English test, let's just click refresh and see what happens. So everything still says active. Time has expired. I'm going to go ahead and click refresh just to see. Um, it's still turning. Let's see what happens. All right, so it still says active. All right, so now you're going to go to the, um, to the math test. So you're going to give them the seal code to the math test, and then you go through the same process. But before I do that, let me just go to active, I'm sorry, let me go to one of them and see um, if it indicates anything in terms of 
the test being completed, uh, the time running out. So um, I'm on number 70. There's 75 items on the English test. So it doesn't say anything like that. Um, okay. So so then you just go into the next test and you go through the process. Okay. All right. So that is how that is how you're going to um, give each test to a student and you're going to check their status. Um, and so remember, active means active means that the student is actively working on those tests. Okay, so let's let's uh, remember the active means that the uh, examinee is actively taking the test. Now let's go ahead and refresh and see what and see what happens. So I'm gonna click on refresh, and then notice this is what you see. So you see now you see completed for two and active for an other. So let me explain or remind you what completed means. So completed means that the examinee has gone through all four tests and submitted the last test. When the examinee submits the last test, the test nav is automatically logged out. So they're automatically logged out of test nav, I should say. So when the student submits that final um, test, when they submit their final answers, um, they are automatically logged out of test nav. So there's still two students right here, this student and this student that's still working on the test. And so if you want to click on completed, let's see what happens. You click on completed for that first student. You can see uh, what now obviously this, this was a fake student. So I just went in and quickly randomly pick some answers. But all of these, hopefully all of these will have been answered, right? If this was uh, an actual student taking the test for the required amount of time. All right. And so um, so you have two students left that are actively taking the test. But once the student submits the last test, then that's when it's going to be active. Uh, that's when active is going to become completed. OK. So about 10 minutes for uh, before the test ends and you see quite a few students have completed, it's a good idea to go and refresh to see to make sure that the greens have become blues. So I always click on refresh. So when I go to refresh, I notice that another student has entered or has submitted the, the um, last test. So whenever the student submits the last test, they are automatically logged out of test nav. So if you go to that student's computer, you will see that that test nav has been logged out. OK, and so we have one student left. So you're waiting for that one student to complete the test. So so you may want to click on active. Click on the two arrows right here and then see where that student is on the last test. So remember, we're on the last test, so that will be section five, section five. And so there are 40 questions on the science test. So just, just look to see where they are on that test. OK. All right. And don't forget, the time stamps are listed here as well. All right. So you and the proctor now see that every student has completed the test. So you're on your desktop. You see this information here. You see that one of the students still says active, but you know that they've completed. So you're going to go to refresh, click on refresh, and now it's still turning. So now let's see. Come on. All right. So now everyone's completed the test. All right, so now everyone's completed the test. You're going to follow the, the remaining directions because remember, you now have to pick up um, authorization tickets and you have to go through the process. So make sure you're following the manual verbatim. OK, so so remember, you still have quite a few things to do. But at the end, remember, at the end, you've got to stop the session. So I don't have any students in here that that haven't taken the test. Remember, we talked about that in a previous session in a previous section. So remember, the uh, the test coordinator is the only one that can remove students. Um, so if you do have any, remember, the test coordinator is the only person that can remove students. I don't have any students that exited. Right. So that's a good thing. So this was an easy session. 
uh, to test. All those students complete the test, so so that makes things so much easier for me. It looks like I didn't have any irregularities. Um, so we're now going to stop the session. So we're going to go here, and I'm going to click on Stop Session. So once remember, only do that if 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 uh, the students have taken all four tests. Okay. So so if you're if you are at the end of the first test on a multiple day test, you don't do that. Okay. So remember, only after the students have taken all four tests. Okay. So stop the session, and now. You see right here, it's red. It's no longer green. Okay, so that is how that is how you're going to monitor examinee progress on your administrative computer. So that will be the end of this video.